But hey guys, Professor Bill and crew, Comic Book University, Toy Division. Let's start doing a couple toys. So, let's see guys, you were playing your Marvel Lego superheroes and you saw this guy. Who's this? Surfer. What? It is. Starts with an A. Let's see if the guys at home can figure it out first. Bites the Hulk. Abomination. Abomination. Epic fail. Go to your room. <laughs> abomination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He bites the, the Hulk. He bites the abomination. Look, 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 look. He comes up and goes, rah, rah. They fight each other. Okay. Uh, Can we play with them? Heck no. Actually, I want to show you guys that I got a new abomination toy. See, because look at this one. Shouldn't the abomination be a little bit bigger than the Hulk? Yeah. But here, this one's a little bit smaller than the Hulk. When you put them together, they're Hulk a little bit smaller. Higher. Yeah, he's definitely bigger. And which is fine. It's not bad, but you know. But what? He has no sharp things on his elbow. Yeah, he doesn't have the sharp things on his elbow. The spikes. He doesn't have those spikes on his elbow. So that's interesting. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, I also hmm? the, the Hulk with the helmet. Oh yeah, I've also got the Gladiator Hulk. From like Thor Ragnarok, yep, I got him. Got a whole bunch of these guys. But you know, and that's probably a really good way to, to judge the height of this abomination also. Because you can see that like he's definitely not nearly as big. You know, he just he just doesn't look nearly as big. Right? He looks like he's so small compared to Gladiator Hulk. He's just gonna whack him with the hammer and uh, right. So that's what we need. We need a bigger abomination and we're going to check out that bigger abomination right now because we have got i didn't get the captain america one but i did get all of the other ones so that we the captain america doesn't actually isn't actually a part of the build a figure thing but i did get all these other figures and i want to see if you guys know who all these characters are i'm going to start off with a really hard one do you know who that is no. okay his name is marvell marvell yep Marvel. Marvel. Yep. See, it's like you're some kind of a speller or something. Oh, like Marvel. It's yes. Spelled Marvel. It's spell. It sounds like Marvel, right? He's called Captain Marvel, or Marvel. Captain Marvel. Oops. So, I'm gonna let. Let's see. Who wants to open him up? Me. Okay. You can open him up. And then we have to see who's this guy. Leader. Yes, you remember the leader. You have to beat him up in your Marvel Lego superheroes. Did you see him in the second one yet, or only in the first one? Only in the first one. Only in the first one. Because the leader in Lego Knights Part One is also not in Part Two. Hmm. Maybe he's not in Part Two yet. Hand. Whose arm is that? A bomb. A bomb. Okay, you can take out the leader. Yep. I got him out! You do. I'm getting the leader out first. Nice. Look, I've actually got an old version of the leader here. This one is actually from the Toy Biz 1990 line. Ooh, I don't remember exactly which Dad, year. Look! Yeah. <laughs> <Bobby>. <laughs> Careful, don't scratch up my guys. So anyway, yeah, the leader. He doesn't have a whole lot of articulation. I didn't think that he would need oh, all that God, articulation. So funny, I got him for I only got 10 bucks. Nice. I got him for only 10 bucks. He's literally only got the five points of articulation. His, oh, <laughs> never mind. His, uh, his hands move, so it's actually seven points of articulation. But his head will turn side to side, barely. It, it doesn't even go up and down. His legs move, his knees don't move, his heels or ankles don't move, his toes. Uh, he doesn't even swivel up the waist. It's literally just this, that's it. Which I didn't think was going to matter too much because at the end of the day, hey man, he's just uh, the leader. He's not going to get physical with anybody. But this version of the leader has the typical, what, 22, 26 points of articulation, which is just amazing. So I got to say, I like the design of this one a little bit better, and I wouldn't mind having one of the... Uh, 
the the ones with the head shaped like a brain but i'm not complaining about this one either and clearly this is from the the hulk buster days so and let's see the, the height difference yeah definitely a much bigger version don't really need them to be that big though whatever it is what it is see the difference between the two mm -hmm. which one do you like better i like this one I you like, like the new one, one better nice yeah. i like that he can move more i'm controlling his mind <laughs> there you go Okay. And they look yeah. at this. That's not how to create them. That's not quite how you create them. <laughs> but a nice try. I nice know, try. it's funny. Yeah. Okay, so again, I don't have the Captain America, but I do have these two characters. Who are these? Um Iron Man. Yes, this one's Iron Man. How did you not know Iron Man? You were too busy looking at this guy, right? Yeah. Now I bet you you've never seen this guy before. Marvel. His name is Rage. Marvel's Rage. Yeah, well, Marvel's Rage. Just his name is Rage. Yeah. He is basically a kid who somehow got turned into an adult. And he's super duper strong, super duper powerful. This doesn't have to look that Can you good. believe it? He's super duper strong, super duper powerful. How strong could, is he? He's not as strong as the Hulk, but he's easily as strong as the thing. Ooh, that's yeah, kind of strong. That is kind of strong, right? And he can run really, really fast. And just like Luke Cage, he's bulletproof. Well, let's go ba ding, ba ding, ba ding, right off of him. Like Shazam. Yes, just like Shazam. You got bullet immunity. <laughs> Two hands. Okay, a lot of stuff in this one. Put all the stuff in the middle for me, okay? All the little stuff, too, like this. The little pee pee shoes. Whoa, look what just happened. It went flying. Let's try not to lose any of the pieces. So it comes with some of the open hands for the repulsors so that you can attach these guys. It's actually got the little hole inside so you can look like he's going he's shooting his repulsors off. The little holes. Yep, and he's got the fists so you can actually go rock him, sock him, robot on somebody. Yeah. Let me do it then. Yeah. Thank and, you. And those are literally the only two kinds of hands that he will come with. This is the Gamerverse version. So the stuff that Dan, uh, Dan Slot, that um, J Jim Zub is actually writing right now. This is the Gamerverse. All based off of the original Spider-Man Gamerverse stuff. So... The Spider-Man, the game of the year version that just came out a year ago, it's still the number one game uh, out there. It, um, it spawned what I suspected was going to be an entire game verse, and they're calling it Gamerverse. Um, so the Avengers are going to be the next movie, or excuse me, the next video game that come out. And this is what Iron Man is going to look like in the game. He's actually got really good articulation here. This, I think the hmm? game is going to be called Lego... Avengers? Nope, it will not be a Lego Avengers, believe it or not. It's going to be something for PlayStation, but it's going to be mostly for bigger kids or adults. Here you go. Check it out. But look at this. That is super freaky weird, man. I love it. <laughs> yes, beat him up. Let me see Rage. So Rage is looking really good here. Die. Nice. He's actually got the... Yeah. Did you know he could actually fly? I'm talking in the video. Oh, gotcha. Guys, did you know Iron Man could actually fly because he had the suit? And he could also make a bit of fire in one of the suits. It's called Iron Man Mark 42. Nice. Iron Man Mark 42. Dude. And he and even... this is Iron Man Mark 5. No, Mark 5 was a little bit different. <laughs> well, he have... even made a drilling suit. A drilling suit? Yeah, like it can go underground. Was that in part two? Lego Marvel Superheroes? Yeah. Nice. We saw that in the video. So with Rage, the jacket, the vest will of course come off. The mask will not come off. If you do actually choose to heat it up and take off the mask, it's going to look really funky. You can see pictures of it online. We're not doing that to my mask. But anyway, yeah, so Rage, hey. But it does look like it actually comes off, so if you wanted to play it, it could actually look like it's popping off and whatnot. I'm digging it. 
So I really like this character. I'm really super surprised that they even made Rage. He's a very low-key Avengers character, but I loved the character. He's a great idea, great concept. Uh, every boy's dream, right? <laughs> to suddenly grow up and become super Hulk-like and become an Avenger. And uh, this is the Captain Marvel. Marvel. Uh, I like that he's kind of got his hair swishing. That's uh, totally excellent. Uh, typical points of articulation. Not much different except for a better design and much better paint job than the original version that they did for Legends several years ago. Uh, Nega bands are almost exactly like the, um, what is it called, uh, Krelar, whatever, whatever, when they did the Captain Marvel, uh, the Carol Danvers Captain Marvel stuff, where I said that they should have probably considered making no him, but whatever, uh, I dig on this, I dig on this a lot, and since I've got the century, well, actually I've got three centuries, that's going to be perfect with this, I kind of wish that they would make a regular Carol Danvers in a regular suit, so that I could, uh, actually imitate that but whatever we'll try and figure something out okay so the last two figures now I doubt any of you guys are gonna know who these guys are but we'll see you might you might know one of them I'll have this one who is she I'll guess Miss Marvel yes you're right Ms. Marvel that is Ms. Marvel and this guy is Mac one that's actually a different costume you know what his original name was Wait. the beetle Beetle? That's the Beetle, but in a new armor called Mac One. Hey, look! Does it for abomination? Yeah, and this head is for abomination. What? What? That's his face? I didn't even know that! Yeah, it's a freaky looking face. So, let me start opening these up for you and you can actually unbox them. Oops. We're gonna make abomination! Oh yeah, it's happening peeps, it's happening. There you go. Thank you. Welcome. You want to start opening Miss Ms. Marvel? Yep. Yeah. But is she actually kind of strong? Uh, she's fairly strong, yeah. But does she have the same powers as the Fantastic Four? No, she has the same powers as Mr. Fantastic. Actually, uh, different powers. She can stretch, but she can also get super big or super small. Yeah, I saw that part. Mm -hmm. And she can think and make herself feel fast. What? Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, I know, right? Wouldn't that be cool? If you got a cut or a boo boo and you just thought, I can't open go away! It. And it healed up. Um, I can't open this. Okay, let me help you out then. I'm doing you it. Told me. Huh, not too happy that the mouth is open like that, but you can't actually open and close it. It's She's a very weird flat. design. He is doing a sticky breath thing, right? He should also come with a teddy bear, just like in uh, Lego Marvel Superheroes, right? Okay. okay. So, the his beetle. wings don't change. Yeah, the beetle, or in this suit, you call him Mach 1. You know what Mach 1 means? What? That means that you're flying at about the speed of sound. Yeah. Guy, did you know a beetle? He could like fly, mm -hmm. and he also makes the noise like Archangel flies so fast. Ooh, just like when Archangel flies so fast, yeah. In the Ligma of Superheroes Part One, mm -hmm. he actually flies so fast, and it go like. It's totally awesome. Just like a bird. Just like a bird. Okay, so we got these guys. And oh, did you put this on the back? No. Oh. Not too shabby though. Okay. Here. And then we've got Ms. Marvel. This is a darker design for a costume. They actually released her not too long ago. I forget what the build a figure was that came with her. Uh, but it's a bunch of the characters. The exact same thing, one fist and one and big in hand and all that. I kinda wish they would have done not kind of. I definitely wish they would have done different figures or different uh, extensions for you know they were just silly fingers like they did with Mr. Fantastic, but whatever. It's still uh, it's a decent enough costume. Uh, you know, they could have even just done the new costume that uh, Saladin Ahmed, uh, and I forget who's doing the art for that. But uh, yeah, they could have just said, this is so basic, so bland, fairly dark colors, whatever it is, what it is. 
is what it is. But what is interesting, though, is that it is the third of the Gamerverse stuff. So Iron Man, Captain America, and Ms. Marvel are the Gamerverse stuff. Again, I didn't bother getting the Captain America one because he just looks, one, he looks super goofy. Two, yeah, I, I'm not going to play the game. And three, he doesn't come with any of the Abomination pieces. He's the extra piece that you could, you know, you can get him and then just whatever. But all the rest of them actually come with the uh, stuff. And the ones um, in bold and in white are the actual gamer first characters. So, yeah. Okay, so you're ready to build the Abomination. Abomination? And also just a real quick look of Mach 1. Yeah, it's spelled Mach 1, usually pronounced Mach 1. Okay. I am building this part. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not building anything. Give me this thing. <laughs> you guys messing this up. So, um, okay, I do believe this should be, let me see the uh, feet on these. You'd figure that these would be on the outside, but let me actually take a quick look. Yeah, it looks like the feet should, in fact, be on the outside of the toes. Should actually be on the outside. A little bit freaky. Definitely a little freaky. I, I want to make absolutely sure of this. I don't want to put them on the wrong way. Actually, I wonder if I even can put them on the wrong way. Yeah, it looks like they allow you to put them on the wrong way. Which is not such a bad thing. I'm not going to complain about that. Other way, it looks like they want the feet on the outside, which is odd. The toes. Talk about the little toes here. There's a little, like, the raptor-style toe on the side. No. This definitely goes on the inside. I don't care what they say. Definitely goes on the inside. Because uh, they got like the little toes over here on the side. So, yeah, that's, I think they did it wrong on the package, or I'm just not seeing it right on the package. Hey, Daddy, look at this. Freaky. Let me get, there we go. Okay, let's actually start putting these arms on. What would have been nice is, with all the big characters, if they would have done the um, uh, changeable hands also. Because for the Hulk and the Thing and some of the bigger characters, the Red Hulk, they actually have the exchangeable hands where it's an open hand, so it actually grappling, and then also a closed fist, which would have been perfect if they would have done that for this guy also. I know he's got his big claws, but we remember the Hulk movie. He had fists. What's up? Okay. Let's close this guy up. Let's actually make sure everything's right first. And let me see the head. Okay, this can just go in on afterwards. So this easily slides over top. You don't actually have to put the hands on first. You don't have to put anything on first. You could just literally put this over top. There's no need for it to have been separated like that. That's odd, but whatever. And then you put the head on. This is one of those weird heads. This actually looks like the DC collectible stuff. The DC Universe stuff. The DC Multiverse, I should say. And I hated, always hated those heads. Because they they would break off at the neck very easily. So I'm not fond of this at all. Not even slightly. I don't care that it gives me extra maneuverability with the head. It still is hard to put it on. Now that it's on, whatever. Yeah, he can move his head in pretty cool ways. Uh, you can turn it to the side. You can actually cock his head to the side. You turn it full upside down if you want. Oh, hit me! <laughs> he could be really silly, but still, I'm not overly infatuated with the idea that it's got that stick for the head. But he does have the, hold on, he does have the, uh, the back parts here, so he can go all the way back, like, really ridiculously far. Nobody needs to go back that far, but I'm glad that they made it so that I could in case he's like jumping out of a plane or something silly like that okay uh pretty good articulation like that he can he look like he's doing some weird swirly things what's up when you were gonna make doing the like talking <laughs> could we fight with hulk and abomination oh we can we absolutely can and so I let's look fight as abomination. it looks like he can actually hug somebody too it's kind of cool well he's doing yeah, it doesn't go in as far as I'd like it to, but it does actually go in, and that's better than most of the other figures out there. So, Not he's right. a very ugly figure. I guess that's what the Abomination is supposed to be. What would have been extra specially cool also is if I would have had the head, and realistically, I guess that would have been better with the other head, but what the, the other head actually fell off. <laughs> I'm talking about heads falling off, and this guy's head actually goes and falls off, the other one. Go figure. Anyway... 
Uh, I always wanted to have an extra head where I can actually melt off some of the side with heat to make it look like acid damage since that actually happened in the comics. But let's look at the difference in size for these characters. Let's actually make him his knees straight, which he would never do. His legs were always too short for me. If only his legs were a little bit taller, that would have made me happy. But anyway, you can see the size difference. He's definitely bigger. Definitely bigger. Yeah. Also, for the sake of conversation, everybody, you can, uh, hey, Hal, can you move out of the light? <laughs> Thank you. You guys can also feel free to change the, um, the uh, heads for these two guys. So this one doesn't stay on. Obviously, this one belongs over here. It doesn't stay on because the neck thing isn't quite as long. But, you know, it can rest on there. Sure. This one, however, does go on. You can see that's fully on. It's a little weird in the back, but I'm okay with it, especially in the front. As far as the, <laughs> thank you for the bulk. Um, the paint job, you could say, is definitely a little tiny bit off. Honestly, I don't think it's that off at all in any way, shape, or form. I'm totally cool Get with this the whole thing. in every way imaginable, except for, of course, the back. But I'm still, I still find that to be acceptable mm -hmm. to me. So, and he actually looks taller still, like this because the other one just it comes down more. So I'm not complaining about this. I just figure it's one extra little uh, feature of the guy. Hey, because I really do like this head a whole lot more than this head. I'm saying the movie head, yeah, I can live without that. In fact, I might even consider this one the, uh, <laughs> the acid head. So when these guys are standing together, hey, what are you doing there? Are you shooting at me? So let's put them side by side. I'll actually take the uh, helmet off of the Gladiator Hulk. He's actually bigger than the Gladiator Hulk. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, finally, right? Hey. Let's see the other Hulk over here. This is actually a very big Hulk also. This is the one that came with the Wolverine 2 pack. So, boom. Oh, um, he's still a little bit taller. Nope, he's still a little bit taller than the Hulk. Uh, it's hard to see because his head... No, even with his head... Being forward like that, he still looks like he's much taller than the Hulk. That's excellent. This abomination that looks pretty good. Let's see him next to the Wendigo. <laughs> Wendigo? You punching him while he's down? Yep, I got the Wendigo. So he's actually the same height as the Wendigo, which is awesome. That is fantastic. He had a very similar design. Obviously a different mold, but similar design. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got a couple more figures here. I've got the Maestro. You guys have never seen the Maestro before. Yeah, you I thought see. that was the Excelsior Hulk. Oh no, this is actually the Future Hulk from a comic book series. I had two issues called Future and Perfect. But do you like my Ninja Turtles? I do like your Ninja Turtles. More green monsters. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're definitely going to need a new... Um, maestro one of these days because I mean come on you know we can't have the maestro being shorter than the other guys but here's one that I like being shorter I just wish that he also came in a suit because we got the Joe fix it not really the Joe fix it Hulk, the, Hulk the gray Hulk, Hulk like the original one from the original Jack Kirby design so is he sneaky no this is not the gray Hulk like Mr. fix it this is the original time the person the two people who created the Incredible Hulk was actually uh, Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. Stan Lee wrote the book, uh, the comic book, and Jack Kirby drew the comic book. And the first time that they drew The Incredible Hulk, he was gray, and he looked like this, with the flat head. He looked kind of like a Frankenstein's monster. You've never heard of Frankenstein before, though, have you? Yeah, when you're older, maybe we'll watch that because it's a scary movie. But this was supposed to be based off of that. You wanna check him out? So this is the abomination. So what do you think, Cal? Is uh, does it have the proper spikes on the elbows and the back and everything? It doesn't have the huge spike like in the Lego Marvel superheroes, but mm -hmm. still pretty good, right? Do they feel sharp to your fingers? Yep. Like a cactus? Yep. Oh. <laughs> the nails pulled to me. Really? The claw. Oh, all right. So let's see what's back. Fingers. Ah. <laughs> <Are you good? laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> oh, he dropped the elbow. Nice. 
Now, if only we had a teddy bear for him, just like in the Marvel Lego superheroes, huh? Yeah, and also, if you punch someone, maybe his teddy bear will kick him. That'd be awesome. <laughs> like, eh! <laughs> <laughs> now, let's see for the Hulk to fight Abomination. Okay. I'll have this Hulk. Cool. You want his Gladiator. helmet? If this Hulk dies, yes, helmet. Let's see. Oh, I've this also Hulk? got another surprise character. Maybe you guys weren't expecting this one to make an appearance. First this Hulk, first this Hulk, first Abomination. Bam, bam! Who's this? She-Hulk. Yeah, the She-Hulk. Now, I did just get the, uh, literally just yesterday. Or, Picked him up! Yeah, yesterday I just got the uh, new She-Hulk. It's called Hulk, but we all know it's a She-Hulk. The gray one. With the scars and the battle damage and whatnot from her getting super stressed out. This abomination died. Well, I still like this version of the She Hulk. Totally awesome. Let's see how she compares to. Yeah, that's good enough. How does she compare to the. That's the old abomination. Where's the new abomination? Can I have him, please? Okay. Let's see. In size. Yeah, you know what? That works. That works. In the Hey, Hal, off of my desk, can you carefully go get the uh, She-Hulk off of my desk in my office? The red She-Hulk? No, the gray She-Hulk. Oh. And I just opened her, so I still have her on my desk. Rawr. There we go. So we can compare the old one with the new, just for the sake of conversation. Wow, it's funny that... She looks like she'd be smaller, but she actually does look... They, this one looks like it's taller, but it's not. They're both so actually the exact the same height. Yeah, go ahead. So, you They're both the actually the exact same actually, height. The this really is an amazing figure. I know there's a lot of people who this shirt actually so, looks like it here, comes up a little you bit. Also fight him. It looks like it wouldn't be as great of a figure because everybody's used to her being green and whatnot. No, but if you're tired of her smiling good. all the time, you want to just start bashing some people. Also move him. Um... This is a similar character where, again, I wish that they actually had the open hands for her also. Um, I don't know if these will pop off. I don't really want to play around with it too much because I'm not here to break my figures. Actually, it looks like it will pop off. Okay, they do pop off. So if you are able to find new um, hands for her, like open hands, maybe one of the uh, smaller regular guy's hands and then just like paint it gray, yeah, these are actually very similar sized hands. We could definitely find something and then um, use those instead. Hey, you know what? Maybe I'll be silly since I don't really need this version he of him threw anymore. Up to the, nah, way too he big. Threw up to the His hands are way too big. Up to like. <clears throat> and then She Hulk comes along and says, <clears throat> right in the head. Hey, be nice, Hulk. <laughs> you know, these two are cousins. Yeah, they're cousins. He threw it. No, <gasps> But now you have to fight two she hulks. What? Oh. Okay, good job. <laughs> Hulk smash! Okay, and I think that's going to be about it. You guys want to wave bye to the camera? Professor Bill and crew, comic book university, Wait, Daddy, toy division. I need to get my Hulk. Your too. Hulk? Yeah. Okay. So, Careful not to touch the camera. <laughs> uh, you literally just touched the camera. <laughs> okay, you got uh, the iron spider. Hey guys. Okay. Did you know I'm gonna show them our Thanos? Show them your Thanos. Here. Look at our Thanos, bud. I think you got to come down a lot more. There you go. Look at that Thanos. And then here comes future and perfect Hulk. <laughs> All right, class dismissed.